give me your impression of Joe Rogan because Will and I are we found our love in podcast talking about Joe Rogan. So I was never a huge Rogan fan. Like I haven't listened to a ton of his episodes. Super down to earth and easy to talk to. His studio is amazing. Um, I'm not an MMA guy, so a lot of that yeah. podcast we did MMA. I'm not super deep. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's just a guy's guy. Like you guys, I said to you, I think his studio seems like right up your alley. Maybe yours as much. I just haven't talked to you as much about like working out, and staying in shape, all that. He's Always says it, but like he's got the water deprivation tank in there. Yeah, he's yeah, got. So yeah, you'd be into it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bow and arrow like thing where you can An shoot. archery range. Archery range. Um, the the weight room literally looks like it could be a college football team. It's fucking huge. Um, that's all time. Yeah, yeah, it's huge for like three or four people. Yeah, you know. When did I you like the episode? How did I like it? Yeah. I thought it was easy. Like, it's a good conversation. Studio sick. It just kind of takes you. Yeah, I don't smoke cigars, so it's borderline, like, high just from smoking that one. Um, but it was easy. He's easy to talk to. Uh, I, I was, I didn't, I didn't walk out being like, that's the greatest thing of all time because I knew there was a lot of MMA talk and that was the one complaint. But then I also, people, it's weird. It's with anything. People either loved it or they didn't like it at all. I didn't get very much down the middle. And he's so big. He really is so big. Um, like, just walking down the street, people show us, like, hey, I'm listening to the Rogan thing, you know? Uh, yeah. But I liked him. I don't know. Would you do it again? Absolutely. Even if I didn't like him, I'd do it yeah. again. How yeah. could you say no to that? Right, right, right. How did it all, like, work out? Like, how did you guys get connected and, and going on that episode? So, um, I met him for the first time at UFC New York, but quickly, the New York Times article came yeah. out, and I posted, because in the New York Times recent one on me, <laughs> The reporter said, we reached out to Dave for comment and he wouldn't answer the questions. I posted an exchange with the reporter from like seven months ago, being like, I'll sit down with you. I'll answer anything you have. And she kept saying, I'm eager to talk to you. And then two weeks would go by, I wouldn't hear from him. I go, hey, I'm I'm willing to talk down to speak with you. Receipts. Like, yep, like cameras. You can bring any camera you want, audio. I just want to be able to do it too, so I have it. Um, she's like, I'm eager to do it, eager to do it. Didn't reach out till two days before the article dropped. So seven months passed. I was like, fuck no, you've written the whole article. All these bullet points are all like, there's no way for me to answer them. They're like, hey, Dave, you're the devil, right? Any comment? Like those like, all right, how do I fucking, <laughs> yeah. how do you deal with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I posted the exchange. He reached out. He's like, I saw the New York Times thing. They're the worst. Like you want to come on the podcast. So I, I actually tweeted this the other day. Emily Steele tipped my cap. Like the New York Times reporter, I've heard a thank for going on Rogan and making, because Barstool's big, Rogan's fucking huge. A lot of people probably didn't know who I was mm -hmm. until that episode, so help me help Barstool. So thank wonder, you. What, do you have any idea the downloads he gets? No. I think I've heard he was number ups. one three weeks in a row. It's yeah. got to be. And, and while I do love taking credit, he has a lot of his episodes go to one. I don't know if they stay as long as that or all of them, but... He, he's a monster. I don't think there's anything remotely in his stratosphere for podcasts.